drop in towards the chest. And just stretch the back of the neck for a few moments there. You can have the eyes open or closed. And you can stay there stretching the back of the neck or rock semicircles. Inhale, right ear towards the right shoulder, slowly, carefully. Exhale, chin towards the chest. Inhale, left ear towards left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Couple times, move to the rhythm of your own breath, maybe synchronizing the movement to the breath. One side, the ear may get closer to the shoulder than the other, the neck may feel tighter on one side than the other, and that's okay. We're just here to allow ourselves to explore what the body can do today, not compete with what the body could do yesterday. And then top of the head, over the heart, arms, shoulders all the way up to the ears. Reach them, reach them, reach them up, 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 up. And then let your arms drop. And then again, inhale all the way up, stretch. Lift from the armpits all the way up. Exhale, drop. And again, inhale. Down slow. Exhale, drop. All right, nice. Wiggle it out. Let's scoop your hips halfway forward. Bringing the back away from the back of the chair and coming forward halfway. Sit tall. And then just some movement with the lower body, maybe just rocking your knees open or closed. And then bring your legs back to center and then lift one heel and then the other. Press into your hands, creating a little bit of resistance for your heels, strengthening your calf muscles and your quads, the muscles around your knees. And then reversing that, lifting the front of the foot, keeping the heels down. That feel okay on your knees? Then a little bit of play here with the feet. So we're gonna close the eyes. And if you look, at your feet, you're not going to see what you think and feel. So we're trying to make some neuromuscular connections, building neuromuscular pathways between the feet and back to the brain. But if you watch your feet, you're not going to see what you feel. So I want you to close your eyes and lift all 10 toes off the ground. Then I want you to create the sensation of releasing just your pinky toes to the floor. And then the next toe in. And then the next toe in. And then the fourth toe. And then your big toe. Okay, nice. Relax your knees, your feet. And then reverse. Lift just the big toe. Lift your second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe, pinky toes. Relax your feet. Nice, relax the knees. And just wiggle your feet. And I promise you, if you were to look at your feet, that's not what you would see. <laughs> for most of us, we're lifting all the toes all at the same time, except the big toe. But it's wonderful to explore that sensation and really start to work into the feet. All right, so from here, let me just put my blocks out of the way. We're going to move with a little bit of breath. So hands at your side, just let your hands dangle down. And with your next inhale, reach the arms out and all the way up. Press down into your feet. Look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands at your side. Synchronizing breath. Inhale, ride the breath all the way up. Look up towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands down. And again, inhale, exhale. On this next inhale, reach the arms out and up, reach your fingertips up. 
Press down through your feet, press down through your hips. Turn your palms forward and just rock side to side. Maybe loose wrists, loose fingers, like you're trying to tickle the ceiling almost. And then come back to center, exhale, forward bend. And just pause there in your forward bend. You can drape your hands down to your blocks or to the floor. Let the top of your head hang down. You can rock your head side to side. Just feel across your back. Feel the hips and the legs. We'll place the hands on the shins. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the shins. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. And again, lift the chest halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Come up halfway this time. Pause there. You can have your right hand on your block, on your foot, your shin. Left arm reaches out to the left for a twist. You can have the arm up. You can have the arm behind your back, allowing the shoulder to soften. Long neck, deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, look down, bring your left hand down and come to center. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches out to the right and all the way up, twisting through the upper back. If it feels good to you, you can wrap the arm behind your back, softening the shoulder a bit, and breathe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more like that. Exhale, look down. Bring that right hand back down to your shins, your feet, and come halfway up. Hands right below the knees, the shins slide those shoulders back. We can arch the back a bit here. And then on an exhale, round your spine. Inhale as you rock forward, shoulders slide back, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding the upper back. Inhale deeply, open the chest, slide the shoulders away. Exhale, rounding out. Stay there. Keep your hands heavy and start to stack your spine. One at a time, coming back up to a neutral spine. You can bring the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Let the head be the last thing that stacks over the top of the neck. And relax. Steady yourself there. And we'll synchronize all of that movement. We'll bring it into a nice flow. Hands at your side. Find one spot for your eyes. And when you're ready, reach the arms out and up, press down into your feet. Reach up tall with your fingertips, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the right hand down, reach the left arm out to the left and up, inhale. Exhale down. Keep the left hand down, right arm out to the right, inhale. Exhale. Both hands slide halfway up. Inhale, slide the shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Reach your hands straight out like you're trying to touch me. And come all the way up, flat spine. Press into the feet all the way up. Exhale, hands at your side. One more, just like that. Inhale, hands out and up. Press down to reach up, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Right hand down, left arm out and up. Inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Left hand stays down, right arm out and up. Inhale. Exhale down. Slide your hands halfway up your legs. Inhale, slide those shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Send your arms over your head. Reach long and inhale. Come all the way back up. Bring your palms together, thumbs to the center of your chest. Close your eyes and breathe. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let it go. Very nice. Release your hands. 
find yourself kind of on the edge of your seat. You can bring your hands behind you. You can clasp down at the chair and the seat. You can clasp down at the um, front leg. You can grab the back leg. Just begin to open your chest. Send your shoulders back and lift through the center of your chest. You can have your gaze forward. You can start to gaze up. Opening the chest here, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck the chin, bring yourself back to center and bring your hands right to the chair itself. Press down into your feet, shoulders back. On an inhale, see if you can press the chair away and lift your hips. Exhale, deliver the hips back to the chair, carefully. Inhale, lift your hips. Exhale, bring the hips back to the chair. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bring them back. Last one, inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, bring them back. Everybody's a little bit different, and that's okay. Pause. Let's step the right foot out to the right. Let's see if you can heel toe your left foot out to the left and turn your toes out to the left. A little bit of warrior two here. So I've got my seat, my sit bones on the edge of the seat. Second option would be to slide yourself around bring your whole thigh onto the chair. So left leg is out to uh, left knee is bent, right leg is out. Find as much support as you need. We're simply separating through the thighs. Gaze over your left shoulder and you can have your arms out if you'd like to. Breathing nice and deep. Just feel a nice extension through that right leg, maybe the outer hip. We can side body bend here. Left elbow to the left thigh, right arm up and over. Give yourself a few breaths there. Try not to collapse down into that left chest. See if you can gentle press the left arm into the thigh. So you've got a little bit of lift there. Steady breath. Two, one, let's come back to warrior two position, arms out, gaze over your left wrist. Drop that right hand down the right leg, reach your left arm up, reverse. Three, you can gaze up towards your left thumb. And two, and one, come back to center, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Pause there. You can turn towards the left knee if you'd like. Maybe you lift the right knee. So turning your body this way. Well, a little lunge. You may be able to square your hips as you lower that knee. A nice bend to the knee will help you square your hips. Be mindful of your knees. Sitting up tall here. And you can keep your right hand going if it feels good to you. And bring it around towards the back of the chair, giving yourself a nice twist. Sit up tall through the crown of your head. Day three. Two. One. On an inhale, look forward. On the exhale, start to unwind. We're going to slide the hips back to the chair, and this time both legs stay out. Renee got us pose. Stand your breath here, sitting up nice and tall. From here, let's take the arms out. Give ourselves a nice hug. Right arm crosses over the left arm. Give yourself a nice hug here. 
and breathe in out. You can let your shoulders relax, let the arm bones drop, back of the head in line with your ears. You can stay there, or you can, keeping the right arm in the crease of the left elbow, find eagle arms. So we're stretching the space between the shoulder blades, drawing your forearms closer to the top of your mat or closer to the knee, breathing deeply here into that space right in the back of the shoulder blades. Two, one, open the arms out, reach them straight out, 